Okay, welcome back guys, guys and girls. Let's look at paper one, Unseen Skills. So this is a mind map that I've reproduced for you on the whiteboard. As you can see, this is for prose analysis. One of the first things that you would have to look at is the writer or the author. What is this authorial intention or purpose? The first thing is what is said. Look at the meaning of that which is said, the themes. Then ask yourself, why is it said? This is the purpose, the authorial purpose. And lastly, how is it said, the style? All right. So these three questions, they are one leads to another. You need to handle them in a, in, in a sequential order. Okay. Now let's look at the speaker or the narrator. In a poem, you have a speaker, the imaginary person reciting the poem to you. In a prose passage, we have the narrator, the person telling you the story. And then look at this for her motivations. And then let's look at the plot or the theme, which is basically the story, the summary of the story as in the plot synopsis. And the themes that are the main subject ideas that are being explored. Now let's look at uh, descriptions or details. So these would be the minor um, parts on characterization, any other details that go along with it. Now let's look at the use of humor or comic elements in a trip or uh, in the case of The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde, it's a comedy, so basically we have the use of humour, so which you need to analyse. And then in the case of tragedies like Julius Caesar or King Lear, you need to look at the use of pathos, just the use of sympathy or pity. Now let's look at the sentences. The, uh, look at the punctuation. Are they long or short sentences? What does this tell you? Okay, how does it affect the, affect the reading of the pacing of the poem or the prose? Now let's ask yourself, how about so? So what is the writer's attitude towards the character? What is the writer's attitude towards the theme? What is the writer's attitude towards himself or herself and the reader? So in this case, you have to look at the biography of the writer. So his or her age, gender, um, social class, political affiliation, nationality, ethnicity, etc. Okay, how all these influences, even is of her sexuality, how does it influence, how does the writer's biography influence his purpose in writing on that subject matter? Now let's look at the characterization or the interaction. Okay, so basically look at how the characters interact with each other, the dramatic interaction. Okay, the dramatic tension, as in the case of the importance of being earnest, we have a perfect example of where there's a lot of dramatic tension going on between Lady Bracknell and uh, Ernest, okay, during the confrontation scene about his parentage. Now let's look at meaning versus subtext. So basically, what is the underlying message, alright? And then ask yourself, how does the setting or atmosphere create an impact on you? How does it link back with the theme? And then you have to also consider the narrative perspective. So basically, is it in the first person point of view or is it in the third person point of view? And how does this affect the, the bond established between the speaker and the readers? And lastly, look at personal response. I put this in asterisk because it comes in the conclusion and as a final point in your whole commentary and this personal response is very critical so based on the theme that is being explored in that prose or poem you would have to alter your personal response so basically give some personal anecdotes as in the case of if if uh, if the Wilfred Owens poem on uh, war you would have to talk about your own experiences now that you're ready for NS, National Service. How do you feel about patriotism and of uh, serving your own country, protecting your own country against external threats? Or if you're writing on gender inequality, let's say you're doing um, The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, how does uh, the theme of uh, patriarchy and feminism, how does it relate to you as a woman or as a male? How do you view it? Or if you're doing on the theme of racism, uh, such as by Wall Soinka's telephone conversation, you would have to talk about um, how do you personally feel about um, the theme of racism and as an outsider or an insider, how do you view this injustice? So basically something that happened to you while you were young, something that you witnessed happen, and this could be in the, in the space of about four to five lines 
uh, right at the end of your commentary. So that's about it for pros analysis. I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'll be coming up with a mind map for poetry analysis upcoming.